Welcome to our lecture online. Now that we have a simplified form of this very famous arithmetic series, let's remind ourselves that there was somebody a long time ago, a few hundred years ago, by the name Gauss, the very famous mathematician and physicist, who deduced this not only for this series, but for any arithmetic series by the age of 10. So that person was very, very smart. Now what we're going to do in this video is we're going to take this this example here, this equation, and verify it for a number of values for n. So what we're going to do is we're going to say let n equals 1, and n equals 2, and n equals 3. Now when n is equal to 1, we have 1 squared equals 1, so that's equal to 1. So the series, the summation, is equal to 1. When n is equal to 2, it's 1 plus 4, which is 5. So the summation equals 5. And when n is equal to 3, that's 1 plus 4 plus 9. That would be uh, 10. That would be 14. So the summation would be equal to 14. And so let's see when we plug values in there if we indeed get those particular values. Let's do one more just for a good measure. When n is equal to 4, we get 16 plus 9, which is 25, plus 4, is, which is 29, plus 1, which is 30. So the summation should equal 30. All right, let's see what we get. So first of all, when n is equal to 1, the summation is equal to 1 times 1 plus 1 times 2 times 1 plus 1, all multiplied together, divided by 6. So that would be equal to 1 times 2, so it would be 1 times 2 times 3 divided by 6, which is 6 divided by 6, which is indeed 1. So the first one seems to work out. Let's try for n equals 2. For n equals 2, the summation therefore equals 2 times 2 plus 1 times 2 times 2 plus 1, all divided by 6, which is equal to 2 times 3 times 5, all divided by 6. That would be 6 times 5, which is 30 divided by 6, which is equal to 5. And sure enough, that value works out as well. Now let's try the next one when n is equal to 3. So that means the summation is equal to 3 times 3 plus 1 times 2 times 3 plus 1, all divided by 6, which is equal to 3 times 4 times 6 plus 1, which is 7, all divided by 6. That would be uh, 12 times 7, which is 84, divided by 6, which is equal to 14. And sure enough, that one comes out the same. And one more uh, for n is equal to 4. The summation is going to be equal to, uh, that would be 4 times 4 plus 1 times 2 times 4 plus 1, all divided by 6, which is 4 times 5 times 8 plus 1, which is 9, divided by 6, which is 20, times 9, which is 180, divided by 6, which is 30. And sure enough, it seems to work just fine. So I'm sure that Gauss, when he was young, was playing with these numbers, saw all these interesting patterns, and was able to come up with this very ingenious solution. And that's the very famous summation that we now have verified, at least numerically. And on the next video, we're going to actually prove that it should be valid for any value for n. So stay tuned, and we'll show you how to do that next.